start with the roll call. Mayor Coombs. Here. Council members Bagley. Here. Christensen. Here. Finley. Here. Moore. Here. Peck. Here. Santos. Here. Mayor, you have a quorum. Okay, let's stand for a pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Anyone wishing to speak at first call, public invited to be heard, will need to add his or her name to the list outside the council chambers. Only those on the list will be invited to speak at, at the first call, public invited to be heard. Speakers who do not place their name on a list will have an opportunity to speak during the public hearing items this evening or at final call, public invited to be heard. So, Don, are there any agenda revisions? There are no revisions. Here. All right. Is there a report for the city manager? No report, Mayor Council. Okay, so then we've got a proclamation. Um, designating November 17th, 2016 as World Pancreatic Cancer Day in Longmont, Colorado. And here to accept the proclamation is Rhonda Hatfield. Is she here? Okay, come on down. I'll go ahead and read the proclamation. A proclamation designating November 20th to 26th Oops, wrong one. <laughs> a proclamation designating November 17th, 2016 as World Pancreatic Cancer Day in Longmont, Colorado. Whereas World Pancreatic Cancer Day on November 17th, 2016 is an effort to unite the planet in a common fight against pancreatic cancer and show the world that we are... Uh, in it together, and whereas according to worldwide survey, 60% of people know almost nothing about pancreatic cancer, it's time to elevate the global conversation and draw attention to pancreatic cancer and the need for greater awareness, and whereas by showing the world we are in this battle together, we hope to save lives and create a brighter future for people around the globe. Now. Therefore, I, Dennis Elkin, as mayor, by the virtue of authority vested in me and the city council of the city of Longmont, do hereby proclaim November 17th, 2016, as World Pancreatic Cancer Day in Longmont and invite all to be aware of this fight and bring awareness to pancreatic cancer in our community. So would you like to say something? Um, well, on behalf of, I'm the founder of the National Pancreatic Cancer Foundation and um, a member of the World Pancreatic Cancer Coalition. I would just like to state thank you for allowing this day in Longmont. We're trying to create more awareness for pancreatic cancer through uh, proclamations and social media and, and everywhere in the world just to make, make it more aware because people just don't, don't, don't know that it exists sometimes and that it's so uh, devastating. So in addition, we have an event at Union Reservoir on the 17th of November, Hearts for Hope. So we're going to be lighting um, lanterns off, purple lanterns for all those who are fighting pancreatic cancer and who um, we've lost to pancreatic cancer. So that's November 17th from five to seven at Union Reservoir, if you would like to come and join us. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next, we have a, uh, another proclamation, and the uh, Mechius uh, Bustillo family is here to accept the proclamation. I'll go ahead and read the proclamation. A proclamation designating November 20th through the 26, 2016, as Family Week in Longmont, Colorado. Whereas Longmont recognizes strong families 
are at the center of strong communities, and whereas everyone has a role to play making families successful, including neighborhood organization, businesses, nonprofit agencies, government, and of course families themselves, and whereas the experience of growing up in a secure, loving family environment helps individuals develop talent and contribute to better citizenship and serve in our communities, and whereas Thanksgiving week is a time to honor the importance of the importance of families and recognize the special connections that support and strengthen families year round. And whereas in honoring the importance of families, we recommit ourselves to enhance and extend all the connections that strengthen and enrich families. Now, therefore, I, Dennis L. Coombs, mayor by the virtue of authority vested in me and the city council of the city of Longmont, do hereby proclaim November 20th through the 26th, 2016 as Family Week in Longmont, I invite all citizens in the community to acknowledge the significance of the family to the health of our community. Thank you. Would you, you're free to say something if you'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to though. Um, I just wanna say thank you to everybody out here today and just thanks to my family and the children, youth, and families for being such a big influence on our family. And right. that's it. Okay, so first call public invited to be heard. We have Maddie Reed. I move to be adjourned. Hi, I'm Jason Brubaker, and I'm chair of the Longmont Youth Council. And this is Maddie Reed, she's co chair. And th we have gotten the results back for the Halloween for the ho Hungry can drive that we did. And City Council raised 66 cans and Youth Council has raised 214 cans. So for the ninth year, we have won. <laughs> wow. So we have the trophy here. And we'll be holding on to it for the next year. So. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> Thank you good guys job. for participating. <laughs> Yes, that's all we have. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. Now, let's get a photo. Do we get a photo? Sure. All of us or just Dennis? No, just Dennis. No, just Dennis. Just, no, we, we take pictures when we win. No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. The question is, who turned in cans? <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> but you were kind of busy. These guys did good. Uh, okay. We won last year, didn't we? No. no. The year before? No. <laughs> the year before? Yeah, there was one we won. Like yeah. with, yes. We won two years in a row. One Recently. Time. It was a couple years. All right. Thank you. 2014. It was a good year. Good year. 2014, good year. Good year. Vintage was awesome. <laughs> Can't be vintage. <laughs> Okay, next up is the consent agenda. <clears throat> Mayor, on the consent agenda tonight, item 8A is resolution 2016-110, a resolution of the Longmont City Council authorizing a loan from fund balance in the city's fleet fund to the DDA facade improvement fund 
and the DDA construction fund and providing for repayment of the loans from the DDA tax increment income fund. Item 8B is resolution 2016-111, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the city and the state of Colorado for a library grant agreement. Item 8C is resolution 2016-112, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving future intergovernmental agreements in 2017 between the city and the Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Forces program for the use of local overtime equipment and authorized expense strategic initiative programs. Item 8D is resolution R-2016-113, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the city and the State of Colorado Department of Public Safety Division of Criminal Justice for grant funding for victim services. Item 8E is resolution 2016-114, a resolution of the Longmont City Council approving the intergovernmental agreement between the city and the city of Colorado Springs for an internet crimes against children grant. Item 8F is an approval of annual economic development agreements with the Longmont Economic Development Par Partnership, Visit Longmont, Latino Chamber of Boulder County and the Boulder Small Business Development Center. Councilmember Santos. Thank you, Mayor Coons. I'd like to move B. Uh, I'd like to remove item B. Well, actually, no. I'll tell you what. No, I just want to be able to recognize Judith Anderson as the Colorado Librarian of the Year. No. So, no, she's here somewhere. <laughs> so, that was awesome. before we move the consent agenda, would you come down, Judith? So, as most of us know, you've been named the Colorado Librarian of the Year for 2016. Congratulations. That's awesome. And, well, <laughs> and as I told her right before the meeting, that just means she has to get it next year as well. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a first, but thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. So, thank you all. I, I just realized if I remove it, then you have to stay and you probably want to go home. So. <laughs> But it's up to you. Happy to stay. Again, congratulations. All righty. Thank so you. So if no one wants to move any, uh, remove anything, I move the consent agenda. Second. All right. The consent agenda has been moved and seconded. Let's vote. And that passes 7 to 0. Mayor, the next item, um, our ordinance is on second reading and public hearings. Item 9A is ordinance 2016-71, a bill for an ordinance making additional appropriations for the expenses and liabilities of the City of Longmont for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2016. Staff does not have a presentation on this item. Okay, I'll go ahead and open up the public hearing on ordinance 2016-71. Is anybody from public like to speak on this ordinance? Seeing no one, I'll close the public hearing on Ordinance 2016-71. Councilmember Finley. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. I would like to move passage of Ordinance 2016-71. Second. All right, that's been moved and seconded. Let's vote. That passes seven to zero. Mayor item 9B is ordinance 2016-72, a bill for an ordinance conditionally approving the Quail Commercial Center filing one, lot three, rezoning from C commercial to P public, generally located north of Quail Road and east of Main Street. Staff is available but does not have a presentation. Okay. Is there anybody from the public who'd like to speak um, during the public hearing on ordinance 2016-72? Seeing no one, I'll close the public hearing on Ordinance 2016-72. Councilmember Finley. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. I'd like to move passage of Ordinance 2016-72. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Finley and seconded by Councilmember Bagley. Let's vote. And that passes seven to zero. Mayor, 
2016-73, Bill for an ordinance conditionally approving the Quail Campus Filing 1 Replat A, Lot 1 rezoning from P Public to C Commercial, generally located of north of Quail Road and east of Main Street. Again, staff is available but does not have, does not have a presentation. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and open the public hearing on Ordinance 2016-73. Is there anybody from the public like to speak on this ordinance? Seeing no one, I'll close the public hearing on Ordinance 2016-73. Councilmember Finley. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. I'd like to move passage of Ordinance 2016-73. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded by Councilmember Moore. Let's vote. That passes seven to zero. Mayor item D um, is ordinance 2016-74, which is a bill for an ordinance conditionally approving the vacation of two utility easements and a drainage slash flood easement generally located east of Main Street and north of Quail Road. Again, no staff presentation, but staff is available. Okay. I will now open the public hearing on ordinance 2016-74. Is there anybody who'd like to speak on this ordinance? Seeing no one, I'll close the public hearing on Ordinance 2016-74. Council Member Finley. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. I'd like to move passage of Ordinance 2016-74. Second. All right, that's been moved by Council Member Finley and seconded by Council Member Peck. Let's vote. And that passes seven to zero. Cruising right along. Item E is Ordinance 2016-75, which is a bill for an ordinance authorizing the City of Longmont to lease the following parcels of real property at the Vance Brand Municipal, Municipal Airport 2, uh, H33A to William Nettleblad, H33B, H33E, H33F, and H33G to Morgan Arrow Enterprises, LLC, H33D to Harold Hockett, H33H to Morgan Aviation Consulting, LLC, H34B to Cleon and Tony Biter, and H44A to Linda M. Murray. Staff is available, but there is no presentation. Okay. Seeing no questions from council, I'll go ahead and open the public hearing on Ordinance 2016-75. Is there anybody from the public who'd like to speak on this ordinance? Seeing no one, I'll close the public hearing on Ordinance 2016-75. Councilmember Finley. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. I'd like to move passage of Ordinance 2016-75. Second. All right. It's been moved and seconded by Councilmember. Um, was, it, was it Bagley or it was Santos? All right. So let's vote. And that passes seven to zero. Okay, so there's no general business. Now it's time for a final call, public invited to be heard. Is anybody from the public who'd like to speak at this time on any item? Seeing no one, I'll go ahead and close final call, public invited to be heard. So now it's time for mayor and council comments. And I will start out and say uh, today was my wife Kristen's birthday, and she's here. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's sing. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Kristen. Happy birthday to you. Many more. <laughs> You're in trouble when you get home. <laughs> Councilmember Christensen. Uh, well, I hate to follow that with <laughs> such a happy thing, but I feel compelled to say something. So, what I'd like to say is that we've had a very long and an ugly and a shameful campaign filled with hatred and racism and misogyny and general crudeness of speech. America is much, much better than this. We're all better than this. But tomorrow we'll wake up and we'll still have America and we will still be one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all. We must make it so. That's the American dream. Thank you. Councilmember Moore. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. <clears throat> uh, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about Next Light at the Colorado Broad Broadband and Communications uh, Conference down in Lone Tree. So um, I've been working with um, 
LPC to get the information together and opportunity again to bring next light to the top of the of the forefront of uh, how great Longmont is. Great. Should be awesome. All right. Any other comments? City manager, any additional remarks? No comments, Mayor Council. City Attorney, any remarks? No comments, Mayor. All right, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs> wow.